Hey everyone, welcome back to a new week in my life featuring the books that I'm reading, the cozy autumnal things that I'm doing and definitely a little bit of Christmas things here and there because it is already the middle of November. It's crazy how fast time is flying and I'm digging it though because at the end of November I'm going to London together with my boyfriend and it's gonna be the most magical time of year to be in London and I'm so excited so I'm definitely going to vlog there as well keep an eye out but I thought for now I would just show you the books that I'm currently reading because last weekend I actually did a readathon over on my patreon page and I started two books unfortunately I have not finished them yet but I started House of Leaves which is this crazy horror story it is written in such a unique way as you can see it's basically about this house that is bigger on the inside than it is on the outside full of sort of commentary on people who did investigations in that house then i'm also reading ordinary wonder tales which is a collection of essays all about ordinary things in the world that are very like wondrous and like a wonder that those things can happen it's a little bit vague but i'm kind of digging it it's really interesting so i'm also reading this one and then i'm also listening to matthew perry's memoir on audiobook which is very very tough to listen to i've nearly finished it it's so good i'm feeling so sorry for him but i did really wanted to read it but those are the books that i'm reading right now it is monday morning and i'm actually going over to michelle because michelle's one of my best friends it's her birthday today and we're going to have a lovely cake at du doc which is the best kind of like cake shop here in rotterdam and speaking of birthdays and like gift giving and maybe Christmas. I am so excited to announce that this part of the video is in collaboration with Anna Luisa Jewelry. If you've never heard of Anna Luisa before, have you been watching my videos? <laughs> because I am absolutely obsessed with their pieces. All of the jewelry pieces are so freaking gorgeous. The quality is amazing because I've had some pieces for years already and they still look so good. And the prices range from $39 up. So there will always be something within your price range or within the price range of like a gift you want to give to someone because these are like the ultimate gifts. I have found a few pieces as like a gift for myself, but also a gift for my mum. And mum, if you're watching this, please go now. <laughs> because especially when it comes to gift, like giving jewelry, it can sometimes be difficult to know what type of style a person likes or the color. But I always say it's safest to go with silver because I think silver always suits anyone. So I thought for this video, I would show you lots of beautiful silver pieces. First of all, the gift for my mom, which is this really gorgeous necklace. It is so pretty. I love the fact that it's not completely like super round. So it looks very natural. I am sure she's going to love this. It also comes in this really cute pouch. So I've got the pouch and then I'm still going to wrap it, which will be absolutely perfect as a gift. And then next I've got this really beautiful set of earrings. Also silver, very sleek, very beautiful. And then the things I'm wearing myself today, because sometimes you can also kind of treat yourself, right? <laughs> Is this set of two necklaces, just a very simple chain and a really gorgeous dark green pendant, as well as these cute earrings, a really small one and then a bigger one with a really cool kind of knot in there. Super unique, I've never had this before and I'm so excited to kind of get myself some more silver jewelry because I haven't worn much silver in the past few years. And the reason why I'm just so in love with all of these pieces is because the quality is amazing. They have free shipping in the US and very cheap shipping for like worldwide. And if you want to exchange something, it's like easy peasy. You can just easily contact them and exchange it for a different piece. So if you're looking for beautiful gifts for Christmas or for a birthday or for yourself, and the best thing is that they currently have so many sales going on with up to 30% off so definitely check out the link in my description and take a look at all of the pieces on their website and find yourself a new fave or for your mum or your friends or for yourself <laughs> treat yourself i'm already so excited for christmas and i've gotten many christmas gifts already including this necklace for my mum thank you so much anna luisa for working with me on this video again i'm always so grateful and just <laughs> I love accessorizing my outfit with these jewelry pieces. So thank you so much. The rest of my day, right now, as I said, I'm going to meet Michelle to get some pie. I hope they have carrot cake. And after that, I am going to Delft to work in the Swan Market store where I sell my products. So I'll take you along with me. I will keep you updated on my reading and I really hope you're going to enjoy this vlog. Can I give it a thumbs up if you like Christmas and festiveness?
today. So yesterday, as I said, I went to work in the store in Delft and after that, I quickly went into H&M to see if I could find a nice dress for my birthday party that I'm hosting at the beginning of next month. And the theme is like holiday glam and I finally found the perfect dress for it. It's this super cute sequins dress. It's quite short and just has these nice little spaghetti straps. And I also found the perfect shoes to go with it. I am so obsessed with all these pointy shoes that you see everywhere now. And they make me feel like Cameron Diaz from the holiday. I'm digging that. So found the perfect dress for my party. And then today, as you saw this morning, I did some work on my computer. I had some early breakfast and then I went over to get a few things in town and I found this Christmassy diamond painting thingy of Father Christmas. And I think diamond painting is so very like relaxing. So I decided to get it. And even though I will probably not hang this thing somewhere on my wall when I finish it, it's just a nice way to kind of relax. And whilst doing this, I am listening to audiobooks because yesterday um, when I went to work in the store, I actually finished the audiobook by Matthew Perry and oh, it made me so incredibly sad because he so wanted to make the best out of his life and like how he was constantly telling like I'm so excited for the rest of my life and to do all these things and why did a good always die young? So I finished that book which was just so so good and I'm also reading another audiobook I'm listening to Paris Hilton's memoir. I really have a thing for celebrity memoirs I've listened to so many already because oftentimes they narrate them themselves and just brings an extra dimension to the book so I'm currently also listening to Paris Hilton's one which is also so freaking tragic. I feel so sorry for all of these people, what they all been through. So I've been listening to that one for a bit. And yesterday before I went to bed, I read a little bit more from House of Leaves. But right now I am just going to pack some orders and ship those orders and get rid of some trash and just do a little bit of cleaning around the house. I already did the dishes this morning and just, yeah get some stuff done, get some work done. And then after that, I can do some more diamond painting. And in the evening, I'm hosting some Patreon reading sprints to finally get some more reading in, in House of Leaves. Okay, I was about to start packing orders, but I just got a very exciting email in the mail because I've been wanting to tell you this for a long time, but it needed to like happen first so I can tell you. But I am now also selling my products or some of my bookish products in the American Book Center, AKA ABC, in The Hague, which is literally one of my favorite bookstores in the Netherlands. They sell only English books. So if you like reading English books, that's the place to be. And they're now selling my book and products in store. And I'm so excited. I go there. Every time I go to The Hague, I visit the ABC and I'm so excited. So if you're from The Hague or you live close to The Hague, or you're in The Hague to do some shopping, definitely go and check out the American Book Center to take a look at some of my products and the books in there. This is so exciting. I love like adding shops to, you know, where I can sell my products. It feels so surreal. One of my favorite bookstores. <laughs> okay, now I'm really going to pack some orders. I just did some lovely reading sprints on my Patreon. I managed to finish the audiobook for Paris Hilton's memoir, which was also so freaking good. So I finished two memoirs in this um, reading vlog already. And with the reading sprints, I continued reading House of Leaves. I still am reading the first part on my Kindle, but I am around 97 pages of the way through. And just after like a hundred and something pages, all the cool, things start. So I'm excited for those pages. I think I'm just going to read a few more percent on my Kindle and then continue in the physical book. But I'm going to chill for the rest of the evening, probably do some more of the diamond painting <laughs> and I will see you tomorrow. Hello, hello. Happy Thursday, not Tuesday, Thursday. I made myself a really big cup of tea because it's very cool outside and I've just been working at home today. And I thought I would give you a little update on my reading for the past few days and just what I've been up to. Because yesterday I went to a concert together with my boyfriend. We went to see Jungle. And he's been a fan of Jungle for like years. I didn't really know about Jungle until the beginning of this year when he introduced me to this band and when he got tickets. But 
now I really like Jungle. It's such a cool band. We had so much fun and I literally danced the entire night. Um, I want to add a few clips of the set, but I want to do this very small right here because it was like lots of strobe lights and stuff. So just little clips here of how cool the set looked and all the lights and the way that that music sounded exactly the same in real life compared to like on their albums, which was so cool. So it was a perfect concert evening. It was in Amsterdam and it wasn't a venue that I hadn't been for like 10 years, I think. I believe the last time I went to this venue was when I saw Ed Sheeran. <laughs> That's a long time ago. So that was such a lovely evening. Oh my God, I just put down my book with all of this um, bent. That's not great. Oops. But little reading update. I am on page... 97 of house of leaves i'm nearing like the cool pages with all the cool text and i'm excited i'm still reading this part on my kindle but i'm very close to like continuing in the physical book which i'm super excited about and then this morning i actually finished the audiobook of ordinary wonder tales which i ended up loving it was so good i really had to get into it because i just didn't really fathom the fact that it was kind of a memoir about different stories from the writer's life. I don't know anything about her, but in the end, it was just so beautiful and heartwarming and interesting. The stories really went all over the place and it was just different kind of wondrous stories from her life and from her family and from her pregnancy, from um, family members. It was also during um, the pandemic of a few years ago, how she kind of got through it with her family and it was so freaking good. So I definitely had to get into it a bit, but I think I'm gonna give it like 4.25 out of five stars because yeah, it was great. Very lovely. I'm gonna look up the author Emily Rukward, I think, Rukward, to see if she wrote something more because I really like her, like as a person from what I've read from her book. Um, so this was really lovely. Oh, also I need to show you an amazing reading hack that I figured out a few days ago when I was doing my Patreon reading sprints. Because I was reading at my desk and I'm just holding my Kindle and I suddenly saw my phone stand that is always on my desk in case I need to FaceTime or I just want to look at something on my phone whilst it's like standing straight up. And I thought, hmm, maybe I can put my Kindle on here and I don't have to like hold it it holds a Kindle. So now I could just put that like on my desk or on my living room table when I'm having dinner or when I'm eating or when I just want to read whilst doing something else and I don't have to hold it. Best reading hack ever. <laughs> I love finding these like cool reading hacks. So if you know any cool reading hacks too, let me know in the comments because I can always find or like I can always use more. But it's a very gloomy Thursday work day. I've just been doing lots of work today, editing this video, packing orders, and this evening, I don't have any plans, so I'm gonna make it into a very cozy evening, probably doing a little bit more from my diamond painting. And I don't know, just watching a YouTube video or maybe listening to a new audiobook because I haven't found a new one yet. So maybe that's something I'm gonna do right now. And I'll let you know which audiobook I picked. I have found myself an audiobook of a book that I actually have on my shelf, so it will count towards my like TBR goal. By the way, I currently have 78 books on my TBR, physical TBR books on my shelf, so it's going down. However, Christmas and my birthday are coming up in December, so it's probably gonna go up again, but at least I did definitely stay under 100 books. But the audiobook I'm going to be listening to is The Elegance of the Hedgehog. And I once got this from a very dear friend of mine, Riddy from England. We met up in London and then we bought a book for each other that we thought the other would like. And I haven't read her book yet. So she really, really loves this. And I'm super interested in reading this. It says over 10 million copies sold worldwide. And this is about a woman called Renee. She is the concierge of a Grand Parisian apartment building. And she's kind of living with a secret because she's very passionate about culture and the arts. And she is more knowledgeable in many ways than her self-important employers. And then in this apartment building there lives a 12 year old called Paloma Joss. And she actually wants to commit suicide because she is determined to avoid a predictably bourgeois future. And it says, but the death of one of their privileged neighbors will bring dramatic change to number seven, Rue de Grenelle, altering the course of both their lives forever. This sounds really 
unique and interesting. So I'm gonna listen to this on audio. I hope the narrator is good, but um, I will keep you updated on this one. It's not too big, so I should be able to listen to this in a few days. I'm very excited. Maybe I will actually go for a little walk later today because it's like full and I've only been outside once a day on like a quick bicycle ride. So maybe I will go outside in a bit to just listen to part of this audiobook. And oh, I'm excited. A new fiction audiobook. I haven't listened to a fiction audiobook in quite a long time. It's often been like non-fiction, often like memoirs. So a new fiction audiobook. I'm excited. Let me know in the comments if you have read this one. This walk was absolutely lovely. Everything looked so pretty in my area because of like autumn and all the leaves and stuff. And I've listened to 17% of The Elegance of the Hedgehog. And what I really enjoy about this book already is that you follow these two perspectives of the concierge and then the little girl Paloma, I believe she was called. <laughs> Why do I keep forgetting names so quickly? Yes, Paloma. You follow both of these perspectives and each one of them has a different narrator, which makes sense because one is like 54 and the other is 12, but still, um, oftentimes it's just one narrator, you know, but now they use two different actresses to narrate their stories and I'm already quite into it. So I definitely am continuing with this audiobook. I'm just now going to have a very cozy evening, do some cooking and I will keep you updated on my reading. Friday, it's nearly the weekend and I thought I would just give you some like final reading updates of this week. As you saw, yeah, I, can't, I can't speak. <laughs> I haven't spoken today. I'm gonna start again. It's Friday. <laughs> I'm gonna give you some final reading updates of this week. And as you saw yesterday evening, I had a super cozy evening. I did diamond painting. I did actual painting because at Flying Tiger, I bought these ornaments that you can paint yourself. So they just give you a blank ornament with kind of lines in there. Um, it's probably like burned or engraved in there and then you can just paint it. So I made a little Christmas ornament whilst watching The Grinch and that was so much fun. And then after that, I read some more from House of Leaves. My battery is nearly empty, so I'm gonna have to do this quickly, but I'm on page 107. So I've reached the 100 mark, which means that all the cool pages are now coming. So I'm going to continue reading this one physically. I'm enjoying it. It's not amazing yet because it's about this you know, house that is big on the inside than the outside. They do these kind of expeditions inside the house, but the only thing that you follow is the people that are still outside and not the people who are actually doing like these expeditions, which is what I want to find out about. So that's why I'm not super into it yet, but it's okay right now. So I'm definitely going to continue reading this physically. When it comes to the elegance of the Hedgehog audiobook, I am 49% of the way through and I'm enjoying it so much. It's always fun when they say the title in the book because one of the characters called the other one the elegance of the hedgehog and I always love it when the title is mentioned in the actual book. I always feel like Leonardo DiCaprio in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood being like <laughs> that meme. So I'm enjoying this one a lot and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be finishing this one very very soon but I will tell you a bit more about that in my next vlog because this weekend is going to be very exciting. I'm going to Comic Con, I'm going to celebrate kind of Christmas slash Sinterklaas which is a Dutch holiday together with my friends and I'm going to a Christmas shop in the garden center. So I'm going to start a new vlog for all of those fun things. Definitely keep an eye out for that one. And if you want to comment something on this vlog, but you don't know what to comment, comment 
a leaf emoji, like autumn leaves, whichever kind of leaves you want to comment because it's house of leaves. And before I end this video, again, definitely do not forget to check out the Anna Luisa website to take a look at their amazing jewelry pieces. They currently have so many sales going on with up to 30% off. So it's the perfect time to get some early Christmas presents. I literally already have nearly all of my Christmas presents ready. Not packed, but bought. And it gives me so much like calm in me to know that I will not be, you know, having to search for Christmas presents last minute. So definitely check out the link in my description. Thank you again so much for watching. I really hope you're having a beautiful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.